Hello and welcome everybody, what is going on? So considering that last week in my top 15 players we should sign, I talked about Alexis Sanchez, a player that a lot of you guys will be familiar with, a player that is pretty well known. I decided that this week I'm going to talk about a player that is still very very good but perhaps not as um, well known as Alexis Sanchez and that player as you could probably tell by the title is Patrick Schick who plays for Sampdoria in Italy and I thought you know, he would be like the perfect addition. He plays as a um, striker, as a second striker, as a centre forward. And I thought he would be an excellent addition to be a second striker for Lewandowski. He is very young. He'd be able to play on a Lewandowski for say two to three years. And then he would be able to take over. And uh, that would, you know, he would just look very, very good. Now he's, he's, he isn't really well known, but recently he's made um, a name. Uh, with, one of, one of, with one of the goals that he scored and it was Dennis Bergkamp-esque uh, it was a brilliant goal unfortunately obviously I can't show it to you guys due to copyright and whatnot but it was a brilliant goal try and see if you can find that goal it was absolutely beautiful and it was an absolute stunner but let's actually talk about his statistics let's go over to the statistics section as I mentioned he is 21 years old and he's quite tall 187 that's quite tall um, so he's good in the air as well now let's look at some st um, performance data. Now he's played 31 games in total this season, 1,363 minutes, which isn't bad, but it's certainly not. You know, it's not great. Um, 31 games, you'd expect a little bit more, but very good numbers still. I think, for especially considering his age, that's still very good numbers. And he's like I said, 31 games, he's played 13 goals in all competitions, three assists. Roughly um, one goal every 105 minutes, which is very good. You know, he's only 21 years old. So let's look at more. Um, let's look at his detail, his statistics in more detail. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, he doesn't really get yellow cards and whatnot. <laughs> you look at the statistics, that really doesn't happen, except obviously in the last minute and whatnot. But besides that, I think that's very good. And you can probably tell that, you know, at the beginning of the season, he only got 30 minutes and then 30 minutes and roughly 30 minutes and whatnot. And he started getting more, so you know, one half, 65 minutes, 90, 90, and then 90 again. So he's been slowly getting more and more minutes as his importance and his performance just increases and improves. And he's been linked to a lot of players. He's been linked to a lot of teams recently, so obviously now the question is um, which team is he going to go to. He's been linked to Juventus, I believe. He's been linked to Sevilla as well, and I'm hoping that we're going to be linked to him as well because I believe his agent came out roughly two or three weeks ago and claimed that, um, that um, it would be best for Patrick to go to the Bundesliga, and the second I heard that, I was like, okay, we need to be, we need to get on that because he is good. He is a, he would be a great addition to learn under Lewandowski and to essentially be the second striker in case Lewandowski gets injured. And then in two or three years, he'd be able to take over once he is in his prime. And Lewandowski is thirty plus years old. So from that perspective, I am fully behind that transfer. I want that transfer to happen. But tell me what about tell me about you guys. Like I said not the most known name but for after last week i should probably do a player that is not that known um but yeah yeah next week i might go back to a player that is more well known and i think yeah i think i know who i'm gonna talk about but yeah tell me what you guys think do you guys reckon that we should go for patrick shake he wouldn't cost that much that's the good thing as well um in terms of and obviously there has not been there's not been a real real rumor but just in terms of how much I'd want him out of 10, I'd probably say a 7.5. In terms of how much he would add to the team, I would say um, in the short term, probably a 6.5. In the long term, probably an 8. And then in terms of how realistic I could actually see us going after him, like I said, there's not been a strong rumor, but just in terms of how realistic I could see us go, I could see us um, actually attempt to sign him. I think if we actually wanted to sign him, we would get him. I don't think there is any, there's anything in my mind that could say that we wouldn't get him if we actually really wanted to sign him. And just from that perspective, I really want us to go for him um, because he can do good things. But that's all there is though from me, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you guys think. Who do you guys want to see in the next video? Obviously, I'm, I've already got my list down. I already know who I'm going to talk about next week, I think. 
Um, but who would you guys want to see? Who do you guys think? Who do you guys reckon we should go after? Who do you guys think we should sign? Tell me in the comment section down below. As always, people, you can rate, comment, favorite, subscribe. Peace out. Have a nice day. Bye.